This is the total fibroid with multiple internal echogenic areas. This is a cell calcification and this cystic area is suggestive and this cystic area is suggestive of internal necrosis or hemorrhage within the fibroid. This is the region of the fibroid. This is a tiny calcification. 4.2 and this is also even tiny calcification. This is this area is a small cystic area measuring 15.3 into approximately 7.9 millimeters and uh, is suggestive of internal hemorrhage and necrosis. So this fibroid has an inhomogeneous or heterogeneous appearance with the ecogenic and hypochoic areas interspread and uh, in which calcifications are seen along with a few cystic areas that give that is suggestive of either hemorrhage or necrosis within the cyst. Now this is the endometrial canal. This is a magnified view in secretory phase because this is a secretory phase endometrial canal. You see a central line, then fluid, a little bit of fluid. This is the fundus of the uterus. This is the fundus of the uterus. And this is the magnified fibroid. It spares the endometrial canal and see the appearance of the fibroid. I am giving a sweep to the this mass. It does not change its shape, so it is solid mass. Why it is solid is also that you can see its posterior wall. This is the posterior wall of this fibroid with no acoustic enhancement. So when you don't see any acoustic enhancement, this is the this is the uterus. And here you see that the ovary, right ovary, is displayed, displaced posterior to the uterus. This is the ovary. And the tiny cystic areas you are seeing in it are the follicles in different stages of development. And this is the transverse view of the uterus. This is the endometrial canal. Here comes the fibroid. So it is with the left corner of the uterus or anterior segment of the uterus and then extending into the left corner of the uterus.